Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. You see this beautiful setup behind me? It is achieved with only one connection to my laptop. I'm using a universal USB docking station. The exact model I'm using in this video is from Mini Sopuro. It is called DS808. It uses a display link technology from Synaptics. It is compatible with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Chrome OS, and Android. It's true that I'm using Windows in my video, but I wanted to talk a little bit about Mac and especially the M1 and M2 chips. So this display link device will help you overcome the limitations of the displays on your Mac computer and you can have up to three displays on your Mac computer. So in my video, I'll be covering the following aspects. I'm going to first talk about the specifications and the connections of this device. And also, I'm going to be showing you how to install the drivers on Windows. Even though it is plug and play, it's better to install the drivers. And also, I'm going to show you how to set up the displays so the mouse will travel seamlessly between the three displays. So let me first start by talking about the specifications and showing you the connections of this universal USB docking station. So let me show you first what comes in the box. You have, of course, the universal docking station and you have a very good quality USB-C cable and you have the power adapter you have the user manual you have a USB-C to USB-A converter and I'm going to talk about the limitations of this one shortly and you have a USB 2.0 key that is 1 gigabytes that has the drivers and the manual for this device let me talk now about the connections and the specifications of this device. First, the build quality of the device is really outstanding and it is made of aluminum. So the casing is made of aluminum and at the same time, it plays the role of heat sink. So it has these here openings so to dissipate heat. On the back of the device, you have the following ports. You have first the power input port. This port here is called USB-C power delivery and if you plug a charger in this port you can use this USB-C port that has a computer next to it to charge your laptop at the same time this port is the input port of the laptop so this is where you connect your laptop to this docking station and this is an ethernet port it has a speed of up to 1 gigabits per second these ports here are for the monitors this is an HDMI output display output for monitor 2 and for monitor 3 you can use either HDMI or display. Of course, you cannot use them simultaneously. You need to choose one or the other. Now, the limitations for display one is that if you connect your laptop with a USB-A connection, so if you use this adapter, display one will not work. And of course, the USB-C charging capability will not work because you cannot charge a laptop with USB-A connection. Now to talk about the specifications of the monitors, each one can go up to 4K 60Hz. Now if you have display version 1.2 on your laptop, the display one will be capped to 4K 30Hz, but the other ones will keep on working on 4K 60Hz. Now let me show you the frontal ports of this device. So the frontal ports, you have USB 3.2 Gen 1 2 ports, and you have USB-C 3 Gen 1 also. This is here for audio and this is USB 2 and this is USB 2. So these two ports can be used for instance either for your keyboard, your mouse or for your webcam also and they work seamlessly. Before connecting your laptop for the first time to the display link docking station, it's better to install the drivers. I'm going to show you here how to install them for Windows 11 but for the other operating systems it's almost the same. So you need to go to Synaptics website. So here's my web browser, go to Synaptics and then here click on downloads and scroll until you find your operating system. So for Windows here, click on Windows and then scroll and then click on download and then accept the agreement and here it is downloading. So now we need to install the driver. I'm going to click on open file, click on yes. And this is the installation of the driver underway. So click on install here. And here it's asking you if you want to install the display link manager. It's a good idea to install it. Check here and then click on finish. And it will take you to Microsoft Store. And this is the display link manager. 
This is an optional installation, but it facilitates the management of the displays. So now I'll be showing you how I'll be connecting all the devices to the docking station. For the connections, the first thing I'll be doing is that I'll be connecting the monitors. This is the front of the docking station. I'll be connecting the mouse and the keyboard to these USB 2.0 connections and the audio here and the audio speakers USB power delivery. And then here I'll be connecting my Logitech webcam. And now once everything is connected, I'll be connecting the input and the power. So these are the three cables. The first cable is the laptop input. And the second cable is a charging USB port. And then the third cable and the last one always connect the power. And this is the power connected. So here's the device connected on the front. And here are the connections on the back. So now all you have to do is to connect the laptop to the USB-C cable on the docking station. And you're gonna see that the displays will light up. So these are the three displays. I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks. First, for the laptop to be able to close it without it going to sleep, you need to change something. I'm gonna zoom in on this screen so that you see what I'm doing. So open the search box and type in control panel and hit enter. And here, click on category to choose large icons and then search for something called power options, open power options. So here you have something called choose what closing the lid does. Click on it. And here for both on battery and plugged in, when I close the lid, choose do nothing. And this way you can close your laptop without it going to sleep. The other thing I wanted to show you is how to configure the displays so that your mouse can travel from one display to the other seamlessly like this. And here on purpose, of course, I put the mouse pointer very big so that you can see it. So let's open Display Link Manager. So click on the search box and type in Display and then here choose Display Link Manager. And under Display Link Manager, click on Video Settings. And here under Video Settings, make sure that the display that is in the middle is selected as a main display. So click on it and then choose here, make this my main display. And make sure that the orders of display is 1, 2, 3 or 1, 2, 3. And this way you can trouble your mouse from one display to the other seamlessly. By the way, if you want to check out this display link docking station from Mini Sapporo, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you. And this will help my channel greatly. I hope that my video will help you in your decision in purchasing a universal USB docking station and it will help you also in setting it up. I want to thank you all for watching and if you like this video please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this will help my channel. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. Thank you for watching once again and see you on the next video.